What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Yesterday I made a video about the new NVIDIA graphics cards, the 20 series, that's the RTX 2080 Ti, the 2080 and the 2070. Now I'm really excited about these cards, I still am, but yesterday I probably rode the hype train a little bit too far. So I wanted to give you guys my opinion on pre-ordering these cards. Is it worth it? Should you pre-order at all? I think there are some things that you really want to understand before you place that pre-order. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. The first issue that I have is that performance is a huge question mark. We have no clue how these cards are going to actually perform in popular titles today. It could be anywhere from 10% to 40%, probably at least 20%. This is in stark contrast to the 10 series launch where they had a whole bunch of benchmarks they were showing us how the 1080 was equal to like two 980s and SLI, which is a huge performance jump. This time, all they're talking about is the new features like the NGX neural network, the AI pixel prediction, and ray tracing, which will be in a handful of games that will be awesome. I really think ray tracing is gonna be fantastic, but what most gamers care about is solid FPS, and that is something that we don't have locked down from NVIDIA. And I think that's where a lot of people might be misled. They're gonna pre-order a 2080 Ti expecting like way more performance than they're gonna get, and then when they get it in the mail, they're like, oh, it runs 25, 30, 40, 50% faster than my last card. I thought it was gonna be five times faster, like they said. Be aware that the performance gain will be there, but it's, it, it may not be worth the dollars. And that brings me to the second point, and that these cards are extremely expensive right now with the pre-order. We have the Founders Edition, which is like a factory overclocked version, and they're charging $100 to $200 more than the base price. In the demo, they said that the 2080 Ti was gonna be $1,000. Well, the pre-ordering of the Founders Edition is $1,200. That's a $200 price increase compared to what was advertised at the demo. And the only difference is that it comes from the factory overclocked. And if you're like me and you overclock your GPU anyway, that means there's essentially no difference unless the Founders Editions are being silicon lottery. So what that means is that if you're on any kind of a budget, or even if you're not really, if you just can be patient and wait an extra month or two, you can get essentially the exact same card for $200 less. Now the other thing here is that the 10 series Graphics cards are extremely high performance cards as it is. The 1080 Ti, the 1080, the 1070, all kill in games. Even the 1060 or the 1050, depending on how competitive you are. Are you playing at an ultra high resolution? Are you trying to have ultra high frame rates? I think the people that will definitely, definitely want to get the 2080 Ti are gonna be people that have a high budget, they want an ultra high resolution, high frame rate experience, but not everyone is ultra competitive and ultra craving those super high frame rates. There's obviously a lot of us out there that get really frustrated when we have dips in frame rates that causes us to lose in competitive games, and maybe that's just our pride being like, I don't wanna lose because of my graphics card. But the simple fact is a 1080 Ti will probably be hitting that max high ultra refresh rate anyway. I mean, unless, again, you're playing at 4K, 144 frames per second, which is ridiculous. What it comes down to is with this new 2000 series graphics cards coming up from NVIDIA, the 1000 series are going to become a lot cheaper. You can probably pick up a 1080 Ti for around $600, $700. If you buy used, you can probably get one for about $500 if you're patient and wait for all these 1080 Ti's to come out of the computers and the new 2080 Ti's to go into them. It'll be incredible performance for the money. So even after this long spiel about why you might not want to pre-order, if you still want to pre-order, this is my advice. Buy from a store that has a good return policy, so if it turns out they're only 20% faster in your game and it really didn't make any difference anyway, then you can return it for a 100% refund. And of course, if you're on a budget, wait for the non-founders edition to come out as well, because then you're gonna save 100 to $200 depending on which card you're picking up. So essentially only pre-order if you're one of those super elitists that always wants the highest possible frame rates, always wants the latest tech, and you have extra money that you can throw around. But for the rest of us out there, we really probably shouldn't pre-order. I personally have pre-ordered a 2080 Ti and a 2080, and that's because I really wanna review these things, and Nvidia doesn't send me stuff anyway, so I figure I have to buy it, uh, and I'll probably end up returning at least one of those cards. I'm not sure which one yet, but we'll have to see. So that's it for this episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope it was informative. I'm still really excited about these cards. I can't wait to test them out, to try them out. It could be a huge performance gain. The ray tracing could be absolutely insanely amazing, but we don't really know yet, and I can't wait to find out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon, out.